Oh. My. God. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and per usual, in a video where there is no explanation that I can give, when there is no intro that is grand enough, I have sat here and tried to create one 32 times, and what it boils down to is, y'all, today we're doing it, we're breaking it down, we're diving headfirst into the man, the myth, the legend that is uh, Scott Barnes, and we are going to be talking about um, the stuff that I picked up from his collection, and really talking about the quality, is it worth it, is it not, um, does it deserve the praise and the hype that it has or is it just you know overhyped YouTube makeup but let's go ahead and start off by talking about the items I will be covering in today's video just so there's no confusion um, from his collection I started off with his 10 piece brush set so these are all the brushes that he has available there are a mixture of face and eye brushes in here and then under my pack of brushes were the three palettes that I ordered everything comes wrapped in the same type of packaging as far as the um, over like presentation that you get right out of the box and I have to say I actually really really enjoyed this. I know that some people have mixed feelings on it, but for myself personally, I really like this aesthetic. I like knowing that it comes and it is sealed. So in order to, this is actually a tear off right here. So I know that none of my palettes have been like touched or messed with. They were put in here, sealed up. Um, so there's no like contamination going on. All right, you guys. So I realized I was just sitting here not doing anything. I was literally staring at packaging. So I put that down. I took my glasses off and we're going to start diving into the makeup. I'm going to prime real quick using the Benefit um, Hydrate Primer. This is relatively new and you will have just seen me play around with this in a full face of new makeup which I'll link up here you you should have if my memory is correct you will have just watched it now I was looking through on the website to kind of see what these brushes are best used for or what he would use them for and one of them is actually his foundation brush and that is number 68 which is a long kind of duo fiber and I have to say a brush like this isn't probably one I would typically look for for foundation I prefer either a dense brush or a shorter bristle brush than this one. I think for today I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. This is in the shade 420 and I just went ahead and I squirted some on my hands and I'm just going to go ahead and buff it in like this in circular motions. Oh that looks really pretty. I have seen other YouTubers that fall in love with this type of a brush too. Um, who was it? I think it was Rach Loves Life actually. She really loved applying her foundation for a while with like a big fluffy brush because it really just buffs it into your skin and I tried it that way and I didn't care for it back then. Uh, it very well could have just been the brush I was using. All right, so with my foundation pretty much applied, um, I don't hate this actually. I actually think it looks pretty good. The only issue that I'm having, and it's because as I've mentioned several times, I have very aggressive like large big old beefy man pores on my nose. And with this brush application, I am noticing that it's a little bit more difficult to get all of the product like pressed down into my pores. Um, but other than that, it looks really nice. I actually don't have streaks over the planes of my face, which 100% thought I would and I feel like my product went a very long way as well Which is really nice and I think it buffed in nicely It was easy to move and there is a fair amount left and there's not very much in the bristles So just something to note I feel like it, the product did go a really long way now real quick for concealer I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Swan And I'm just gonna press that in with a sponge real quick just like I normally would all right So the concealer is all blended out and I did lightly set the under eye area with a little bit of my hourglass powder just to get that good and locked in. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing Paige here from her throne, her recliner with her old lady sweater and her top knot. I am ready to just begin the regaling of my life. So I've been sitting here going through this, the whole footage that I have for this video. And I just feel like for the first few minutes, I'm just the most boring person ever. Like I'm applying and everything is going well, but I don't, I think I was just like in my actual brain and not like just living my best life on the camera. And it's real annoying to watch. So I'm here. Hello. I will be behind the scenes um, here to assist you and, you know, actually enjoy some life. So I'll be here um, living my best. You should have a louder wrapper. My mom just took out one of those little foil gum things that when you push it out, it's like push through foil. And I'm like, woman, get it together, mom. God, obviously, being a professional, I'm doing, obviously, while I interject on my phone, <laughs> looking like this, I'm a professional. It's like she doesn't even know I'm a booty guru. I'm a booty guru. 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 Okay, I'm done.
And now it's time to move on to cream contour or cream bronzer in my case. And guys, I could not be more excited because I have wanted to play around with this brush for so freaking long. And that is the Scott Barnes 65. The profile on this thing is so insanely beautiful. And I've heard a lot of people talk about it both in good and bad ways. The overall cliff notes of it that I've heard are that the profile and like the shape of it makes a lot of sense for really getting down into your cheekbone and really being able to blend and buff your product. A lot of people also note with this that you have to be mindful um, what you're using, how much product you're using, and that sort of thing. So for today, I'm going to be taking my Chanel Cream Bronzer here, and I'm just going to dip in and whoo girl we're just gonna we're just gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna give it a try here I think I'm gonna start off by just kind of stippling like that and I am going a little bit above my hollow of my cheek right there I just feel like going in and going this route where I lightly kind of pack it above that or right on that line it makes it so I don't have the tendency to pull it down as far and it still gives me a nice lifted cheekbone and I'm just actually tapping it out right now and it literally just buffs out on its own Oh, hello guys, me again. So am I the only one right now that feels like my foundation, like I have to interject, does my face look amazing or does it look amazing? <laughs> like not trying to be like all too, too beep beeping on my own horn or anything, but I feel like my skin looks absolutely exceptional. Like dare I say stunning. And as I was working, my mom just rolled her eyes at me, but seriously, it looks beautiful. And I'm watching myself like buff in this cream bronzer stuff. And I'm just like, damn, like, I'm just, I'm so damn impressed. Like, girl, why didn't you make a bigger deal out of this? I'm making a big deal out of this. I look so good. It's so weird. I'm just like, <laughs> so funny. So great. Okay. I hope you guys are all as impressed as I am. Uh, back to the show. Now, I'm pretty sure this is technically an eye brush. This is the Scott Barnes 61, but I really like the profile of it, and I want to try using this for a little cream contour, um, like in tighter areas, like the nose and around the lips. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to grab some product. I'm going to hit those areas. He does have like a tighter lip liner in here too, but I would probably be more apt to use that one on the eyes than anywhere else. To get right up here, I'm going to work on like lightly snatchifying the nose here. Just ever so lightly. I like to look at it in the mirror and on the monitor just so I can see what both shadows are seeing and then I'm lightly going to pull it upward. I find Scott Barnes to be one of those makeup artists and there's only ever been maybe two or three that I've been like super, super interested in. Um, him and Wayne Goss are at like the top of my list. I'm obsessed with Wayne Goss. I think his work is beautiful and it's so effortless. And I view Scott Barnes very similar to that. I think that again, his makeup and his application, his technical skill is fantastic. But one of the things that for me really set Scott Barnes apart from other artists in general was that he was actually, I believe, wasn't he a painter? I think he was like a studio painter or something like that. And that's actually what he went, I think he went to school for it, if I don't miss my guess. I love that I could see the reflection of his painting and like his artistic desire. I can really see that in his creation of makeup and how he views his tools. And even if you watch him ever apply makeup, he has this really beautiful like lilt with his hands where he's just like, whoo, whoo, whoo. and you can see that there's just a fluidity with him that I really love. We're gonna go ahead and set the face. Now to do that, I am actually going to take a pressed powder. And normally you would see me go in with like a cream blush and a cream highlight and all of that. But because we have his palettes today, I want to really get to see those pop on the skin. So we're not gonna go that route. And instead, like I mentioned, we're going to powder and I'm going to use his big ol' 67. This brush looks so freaking beautiful. It is so, like I have, I could just sit here and do this all day. This brush feels unbelievably magical. And I just wanted to give you a comparison because this is a brush that I use every day on camera. This is the Morphe JH01. It's the big old powder brush. And they are pretty close, I would say, as far as like their overall size goes. His is a little bit slimmer at the base. Like the overall design is a little bit slimmer. This one is more bulbous, the one from Morphe. And his is just a little bit like taller a little bit elongated but they are very similar in size but the weight on this brush feels really 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 nice it has a beautiful like light heaviness at the base of the ferrule right here and it just it fits so nicely in my hand and then to set the face I'm just going to take the pixie flawless finishing powder and I'm just going to kind of dive in here all right so here's where we are currently our face is looking good it's lightly sculpted and girl we're about to sculpt her some more with of course his contour palette and I oh I like this packaging I like the look. I don't, what is it guys? I, I feel like I have looked at everything and everything has the exact same logo. It's the exact same font. It's just in different colors. And there is something so sleek about this. Like I just, 
I'm like so excited. Okay, so here's the inside. You can see we do have a good old pan-sized mirror down there, and then we have these eight shades of product. And I have to say, I actually love the different tones that he went with. I like that there are so many different undertoned options. He has a nice pink undertone, he has cool tone, he has really warm tone, middle warm tone. There's just, there's a lot of different choices in here. Oh, and the mirror says snatch that face. <laughs> that's, that's adorable, snatch that face, yes please. Now before I dive into any of these, I want to feel them, like the, the texture, the consistency. Ooh, they feel really soft. Holy cow, they are rich. Like, I'm talking, oh my, wow. I barely touched that, okay. And I just wanna give you a shot of what I'm used to. This is something I've been using lately. It's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I just went ahead and, you saw, like I'm running that around in the pan 5,200 times. And the payoff, like that's that one right there. And then here's another one that I've been using a lot. This is from BH. This is their Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal. Okay, nice swatch, really pretty. There it is right there. And then these are the ones from the Scott Barnes palette. Girl, okay, I just, just to put it in perspective, we're dealing with some pigment, some rich, some depth, some pigment. So knowing that that's the situation we're headed into, I'm actually gonna stick with this big old fluffy brush because it'll really help um, disperse the product and really hopefully move it around for me. So I'm gonna start with this and the shade Carve, which is I believe like the lightest shade that'll match my skin tone. And I am very gently going to just apply this. I have it on both sides. And then I'm going to be sure to tap off the brush. And obviously I don't need a ton of this because I did do the, the cream contour portion so you're not going to be able to see a ton of it but the powder itself is really nice it has a very very silky feel all right so here we are I had to go ahead and restart the camera of course I waited to film today because I don't even <laughs> I don't even know why, okay? But I waited to film today um, until the sun was like just at the perfect angle. And I swear to you, it took forever to get there. I sat down to film and now the sun is away. Like it, it literally went da, 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 and got to right where I wanted it. And then I started filming and it went boop, just kidding. And now it's behind me. And I lost all the daylight. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but I'm so annoyed. So if you, if you see me trying to like chase the light again in this video, Big shocker. Let's go ahead and just talk about where we are right now in the makeup, in the face, in the everything. Going into the blush, like I told you guys I wanted to explain, you know, why I wanted to talk about Scott Barnes and his makeup and his style. Well, the blush for me is actually kind of where it all got started. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just, you know, show you guys some of these while I talk, but one of the reasons that I wanted to look at his stuff so badly was actually when he did Tati's blush on camera for the first time, because I remember watching him and he had this way of applying it to her face and it looked so beautiful and so effortless and it took her face from being like beautiful and bronzy and it was stunning, like obviously her skin looked great, but he, after he applied the blush, it was like a whole new level of stunning. It was a whole new level of like, oh my God, over the top. It like gave her life. It gave lilt. It gave a little bit, but not too much. And it was just perfect. And I just, ever since that moment, I was like, I need to see what he's all about because I love what he's doing. Okay. So here are all the swatches. The blush shades are to die for. And these little highlight shades are gorgeous. This one right here is like a full on highlight. And that coral shade up there is so beautiful. I am blown away with how gorgeous these are. Oh my gosh. To go in and apply these blushes, I'm actually gonna stick with the powder brush here and I'm just kind of um, smacking it up against my forearm, getting rid of any excess product. And I think I want to mix a couple of shades because I'm so extra. And we're gonna start off with Sweet Cheeks, which is this one. I absolutely love a coral blush. So I'm just going to, holy cow. Girl, <laughs> honey, you need to calm down. So I'm gonna lead in with this one and I'm just gonna lightly tap, oh my God, oh, she is rich, okay. Um, so his shades are definitely rich, like, girl, <laughs> they're, they're gonna take you places. Look at that, that is, I barely tapped into this blush, oh my god. And now just because I'm extra and we're playing around with the palette, so we have to have a little extra fun, we're gonna grab Minimalist, which is this shade up here, and that's a very, very light toned color on my skin. So I'm gonna take that one and use it just to kind of blend back into that other color, starting from the front. And then just because why not, we're gonna grab this one right here, the coral shimmery type shade. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm really gonna tap that brush off. And I'm very lightly going to throw that down, kind of where like highlight would meet blush right on that cusp right there. Just to start bridging that gap of highlight. Like you can barely see there's a light little lilt right there. Ooh, that's pretty. Sorry, real quick, ugh. Intermission, I accidentally um, ate foundation, like a cup of it, and it was not good. 
Uh -uh. It was not good. All right, so I'm back and I've been off of camera for a hot minute just playing around with the brushes and the textures and all of that. And I like the way that my skin is looking overall. I do want to mention a couple of things that I was doing off of camera um, just to kind of throw it out there. So I went in and I did dust away my bake. And to do that, I actually used, this is the 64 brush. And it's a really beautiful like tulip style brush. I used it, you know, so I could get up under the eyes and just dust all the bake away in general. And this brush is absolutely beautiful. Um, the profile of it's really, really nice. And I love the way that it tapers to such a um, rounded, but also blunt at the same time point. You can really get right up in this area and sweep it all the way through. And I just wanted to give you a little comparison because you guys see me use this one a lot. This is the Sigma F25. And I love, 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 love this brush from Sigma. But as you can see, the one from Sigma is quite a bit larger. The taper on the top isn't quite as um, finite. It's not as small as the Scott Barnes one. So just something to keep in mind if you are looking for something that can really get all the way up in there. I just feel like the, the point on this one is really nice. So I wanted to mention that because I did use it and it's beautiful. But I do want to move on real quick and talk about my eyes. And this is something that you might not know if you are newer to my channel. I have a lot of issues with them when I'm trying to get ready. Um, overall, just in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not sure if it's like fibro, if I have some sort of a light sensitivity, a, a powder sensitivity, whatever. Um, but my eyes do water a lot and it's nothing specific to any product. It's not like, oh, the fiber of the brush or, hey, there's something in that shadow. Like, it's not a sensitivity to a product. It's just my eyes will water excessively. I mean, on any given day, they will literally just water all day long. The effect going into the next part because I'm going to do eyeshadow, but it's going to be a very, very, very light application. So I'm going to take a little Tarte Shape Tape and I am going to prime them. Now with that on and applied, we are gonna go in with eyeshadow and even though it's not gonna be super intense, I still wanted to play around with the Tati Beauty palette because I couldn't think of a better palette to pair with Scott Barnes. So here is the inside of the palette. and I think I'm gonna actually go with Soothe, which is this one, the lighter brown. And I'm gonna start working that through the crease with the 62 brush. And this brush is the one that kind of like sparked all the intrigue, all the excitement. Ooh, y'all, that is blending beautifully. Um, I will say for my preference when it comes to a shadow, this one one does have a really beautiful point to it, but my favorite type of brush for working through the crease, at least to start, is more of a blunted end like this one. This is the Morphe E23, and I love this. I have like probably two, three, four of these brushes. It is one of my all-time favorites because I can literally just press it into the crease and buff it up in a circular motion, and it just works out my hooded eye very nicely. But I will say I love the fact that when I'm blending, I can get down so tight into this corner right here because um, the profile of this is just so perfect for that. Oh, hello, wonderful people. Editing page again. So over the next like several what feels like hours while I'm editing this, I just continue to blab on and on and on and on and on about absolutely nothing. So you'll notice that my eyes change and that's because I basically went from this light brown shade and then I went in with the shade Ritual, which is a dark brown shade, and I blended it out on the inner and the outer V. That was it. Like, I don't understand why there was so much conversation about this, um, but that's it. And I just, I didn't, There. why are we wasting 25 minutes watching me blend eyeshadow while I talk about nothing? Oh my God, my dog just snored and it was so loud. Okay, so that's that. I'm done. Editing page. I, I have a feeling I'll be back soon. I don't even know who I am in this video. I don't even know what's going on. I talked for seven hours, just like I am now. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm actually gonna leave the eyes right where they are and we're gonna finish them up with some highlight And before we do that girl, we're gonna set this face because I just oh, I love setting my face So let's go ahead first a little urban decay Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Yes, honey. All right So it's finally time to bust open the last little bag right here and talk about highlight and like I just wanted to savor the moment because I just ugh, There's something about opening up packaging. It's just we're gonna do it together. Just like Chicka, 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 bow cow, chicka, bow cow. Come on, come on, get it started. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> got it. Now we're good. Ooh. Yes. Oh my God, you guys, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <gasps> guys. I <laughs> I'm in love. I can't even begin to express to you like how how in love I am right now like I'm having a moment these are so like metallic and beautiful and I didn't expect all of them to be 
truly this beautiful. Who here has seen Friends? Like you're a Friends buff, you've seen it, you've watched it a thousand times, you know all the characters. Because if you have, this next part's for you. Oh my god. Okay, so yes, it was a horrible impression. I apologize to all the Janice lovers, but seriously. Now to go in and apply my highlight, I'm gonna use his 66 brush. This is the one brush I haven't used yet, and I really like the profile. I'm gonna go in with the shade Pink Crush, which is this one right here. And um, I also wanted to mention, I think on the website, this is actually specced out as a sheer powder brush. So um, like maybe finishing powder, anything that you want to like lightly veil. Oh wow, guys, that's beautiful. This brush feels like actual butter, by the way. <laughs> like, as I'm applying it, like, physically touching my face with it, I can barely feel it. I know I am, I sound like a broken record right now, but this brush is amazing. This is, I, this might be my favorite brush that I've used so far. It is butter. Truly, it is butter. And it is, like, pressing everything into my skin. Like, the highlight I'm working with, the powder that I put on 20 minutes ago, all of it. Just, like, pressing it right in. I want to use this brush for everything. I want to use it for finishing powder. I want to use it for highlight. I want to use it for just, like, blush. <gasps> oh, I bet this would make a great blush brush to just, like, lightly sweep on color. <gasps> oh, my God. I am... Mm, mm, mm-hmm. 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 I got nothing. Oh, you guys, look at that. Obviously I went ahead, did mascara lips, hello, I'm back, and just like, whew, look at whew, <laughs> the angles. I don't know what it is. Am I the only one? You can tell me if it's just like me, what I'm seeing in my monitor right now. I feel like the complexion in my cheek area, like right through here and through here on both sides, it looks so beautiful and refined and it has the perfect amount of depth. I am like, Oh my god, I'm I really really like the way this turned out. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk. Hello, hi. I finished up my face, obviously mascara. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and then for lips, I went in with a liner and a gloss. I have the ColourPop liner. This is in BFF3. It's just a nice dark brown. And then for the gloss, I used Beechwood. This is one of my favorites out of their So Juicy collection. And that's all I did. I didn't want to go in like I don't. Lately, you guys know me. I've been in this mood to just like have the nice lightest lip combo. I want like gloss and maybe a liner. That's it. But with that out of the way, I do want to mention a couple of things and give you my final thoughts and opinions on the Scott Barnes products. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the brushes. And the way that I purchased these brushes were actually in an entire set. And on his website, it is the 10 brush set for $239. And I think that if you, yes, it does say that's 25% off. If you purchase them all individually, they would be $319. So they actually do give you a substantial break for purchasing them all together and out of all of them the prices range but I would say it's somewhere in like the 15 to 18 dollar range for the smallest brush or the most inexpensive all the way up to I think maybe the large powder is the most expensive yes the big round one is the good face brush and that is fifty dollars so they they do range in price is the moral of my story but I actually think that for what you pay as far as them being more of a top tier brush the quality is really on point I don't have any issues not one with all the brushes that I used. I think that they all performed beautifully. And obviously, you know, as I go through, I will share with you guys my thoughts and opinions later on after I've used them some. But for now, I haven't experienced any like weird shedding. The ferrule seems to be really nice. They're weighted. They have a really nice sleek look to them and they all perform beautifully. So as far as the brushes go, I don't have any issues. Now, as far as the prices go for the palettes I used, I believe the um, glowy and showy highlight palette is 68 and then the contour and the blush palette I think are 58 and even though like the price point on those is definitely high like I'm not ever gonna sit here and say like $70 or $60 or whatever for a face palette that's definitely on the high end but again I want to reiterate I think it's the refinement of these products that is beautiful and I think if it's worth it for you or not will depend on how much use you can get out of the color story or the arrangement that is in them because I think that if you will get use out of like the highlight palette. I have no issue with the quality of the blush, the highlight, the contour, whatever. Um, the only thing that I would be cautionary on is making sure that if you purchase it, it's something that you really can get use out of. Brings me into my final question for you guys. Uh, what do you think of this video? Were you curious about any of these? And would you be curious to see a part two where I go in and I play around with other stuff from Scott Barnes? Because y'all, he has a full, damn near, doesn't he have like a full face? He has like a foundation. I know he has powders and all of that. 
and I'm kind of thinking, you know, if you're into it, maybe in a few months I could, I would start collecting between now and then and, you know, get my hands on some powders, foundations, his mascara, all that stuff, and we could dive back into the land of Scott Barnes and see, do we like it? Is it worth it all over again? What are your guys' thoughts and opinions? Leave me them down below. And you guys, I think that's everything. I'm sitting over here, like, doing my little Libra checklist, because that's, <laughs> that's what Libras do. Um, we just make checklists, and we just like to check things off. Number one is always make a list, and then you get to check it off right away. It's so satisfying. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Let me know your thoughts and opinions again down below. Did you like it? Um, is there anything you're curious about? Anything like that videos you want to see? Be sure to leave them down in the comments. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be listed down in the description. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that as well and stick around. Turn on your post notifications. I upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan. But you guys, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking... This is... Uh, I'm not going to say that there is a Diet Coke with light ice in here, but I'm also not going to say that there's not. And that is, of course, onto this little blush palette right here. I... That was so rude. Oh my god, I'm sweating so bad. And uh, we're just going to be testing everything out, looking at general overall quality. That was so rude. Honestly. Can't even believe that you would do that to me. How dare you cut me off.